Pompeo says US could ban TikTok and other Chinese apps following India's lead. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says the country is considering banning TikTok and other Chinese social media apps, as India has recently done. This would have a major impact on the app's user numbers. India was TikTok's biggest audience until the app was banned in late June. This was the second time the country banned TikTok, and the first time was significant enough that it led to lawsuits, citing that the ban had unjustly cost ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, hundreds of millions in potential revenue. While there are myriad tangentially related political issues that could have also pushed India into taking action against TikTok, the country's given reason is that the app poses a privacy and security risk to its citizens by surreptitiously sending their data to China. That news is likely not lost on Mike Pompeo, as the US government has voiced suspicions about TikTok's use and acquisition of customer data since last year. As CNN Business reports, during an appearance on Fox News' The Ingraham Angle, Pompeo answered questions about the likelihood that the US could ban TikTok and other Chinese social apps by saying the government is certainly looking at it. He went on to reiterate the government's previous issues with the platform and implied they could be solved the same way the US resolved the issues with UI. The most damning statement in the conversation came when the host asked Pompeo directly if he would recommend people download TikTok. The secretary replied, only if you want your private information in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party, with a smile on his face. There are about 75% fewer TikTok users in the US than there were in India when the app was banned there, but the former is still the country with the most TikTok users today. Even before losing its Indian user base, though, TikTok and ByteDance took steps to ease concerns that the app posed a threat to other countries' national security. Earlier this year, the company signed former Disney executive Kevin Mayer, who helped build Disney Plus, as its CEO. Despite Mayer's obvious value in the digital content creation space, it's impossible to ignore that he was also likely hired to give the company some American leadership and set Western TikTok critics at ease. The bulk of the claims of TikTok being a security risk comes from the app's connection to China. Per Chinese law, a company with servers in China must share data with the Chinese government. TikTok is indeed a Chinese app started by a Chinese billionaire, but the company maintains that it has never shared data with mainland China. However, just recently, a new law passed in Hong Kong, granting its law enforcement agencies the option to demand online platforms remove any content labeled as a threat to Chinese national security. The move has prompted all other major social platforms, including Facebook and Twitter, to pause processing requests from police in Hong Kong until more details about the new policy are released. Meanwhile, because TikTok is owned by a company based in China, the only way it could avoid this problem was to completely stop operating in Hong Kong, which it has as of this week. Finally, could US, Canada and UK ban TikTok like India did? TikTok has quickly become one of the most popular social media apps, and yet, it is also seen by some as a security threat due to the app's alleged data collection capabilities. This week, the Indian government banned 59 Chinese apps including TikTok, accusing them of violating the privacy of Indian citizens, while also acting as a retaliation in the country's dispute with China. The move raises the question of whether countries like the United States, the United Kingdom and Canada could also take stricter actions against TikTok. Owned by the Chinese company, ByteDance, the app has recently faced criticism over its alleged data collection practices. At the same time, it has grown to become hugely popular, partly thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown orders that have resulted in a record rise in social media app usage in general. Nevertheless, allegations and evidence of the app's data mining capabilities have routinely come to light. Recently, a new iOS 14 security feature revealed that TikTok continues to spy on people's clipboard behavior, an issue TikTok claimed was fixed months ago. 
In addition, last year a class action lawsuit was filed against the app in California, alleging that TikTok is transferring U.S. personal user data to China, including biometric information. As the Financial Times reports, although a symbolic gesture to capitalize on the prevailing anti-China sentiment, rather than a serious attempt to protect user privacy, India's decision to ban TikTok is still significant. The app is certainly seen as a security risk, but it is also undeniably popular with more than 200 million users in India, its biggest market. At the global level, the app has passed the 2 billion downloads mark, joining an exclusive club of apps. While the number of users might increase the data mining concerns, it also makes it difficult for governments to consider a ban. In contrast, the actions of the Indian government took place at a unique time when there was a military skirmish and a national anti-China sentiment. TikTok has developed an ecosystem of its own with millions earning an income from it. A blanket ban, apart from having the potential to be seen as an attack on free speech, can economically hurt quite a lot of people, including those who work for the company, and at a time when the world economy is not doing so well in general. Furthermore, banning TikTok could raise questions regarding the data collection practices of other tech companies, including Google and Facebook. Therefore, an attempt to ban the app by the US, Canadian or UK governments might be fiercely resisted by the wider tech industry.